Hello everybody, this is Fernando for Godzilla Movie News. Yet another update when it comes to the Godzilla 2014 film. This time a really, really cool update that I'm super excited about. Only because I'm a huge fan of this genre. Believe it or not, the Godzilla, the 2014 film, will have an official novelization coming out as well. For those of you that don't know novelization, essentially it's a novel of the script of the movie itself with multiple, generally, multiple deleted scenes, uh, additional pathways, other characters, stuff like that that traditionally goes into such a novelization. I'm a huge fan of that genre. I have, if one were to look at the library that I have inside my home here, I have a huge number of novelizations from movies, TV shows, and other types of genres out there. I'm, I love that stuff because it's so great to be able to experience something that I love. Say, for example, uh, like a Star Trek or a Terminator film, and then read the official novelization to gather even more stuff from that really, really good movie or TV show. Uh, because everything is always expanded in the novelization, especially when it, the novelization goes into the character's own minds. And that way you get to almost vicariously live the movie itself through that person. Very cool stuff. And I'm super glad that they're doing this for the Godzilla film. The Godzilla 1998 film also had a movie novelization. And what was really cool about that one, which by the way is really good book to buy um, even the you know fans that don't like the f film itself when you're reading the novel it's a different story altogether uh, because this one is actually told from a first person perspective it's literally told by through the eyes and the mind of Matthew Broderick's character Nico Totopoulos so to have uh, the entire novel be that way when I was first reading the first couple pages I realized how awesome is this and it was really cool how it was done because one would think, oh, how hard would it be? Um, because there's scenes in the movies that that uh, clearly take place outside of uh, the character being in any of those scenes. And yet the novel found a, some great ways for him to still explain those scenes um, it w that, that still work. So, But yeah, Godzilla 2014 will have an official movie novelization. And here's how super strict, again, Legendary and Warner Brothers are. Most of these releases uh, for films, their novelizations come out actually either a couple of days or may sometimes even a couple of weeks before the film is out. And this is to help generate further buzz for the film. Not so with the Godzilla 2014 film. Again, the film is so secret, um, you would have to probably have the NSA try to break anything involving this film, that it's going to actually be released four days after after the release of the film itself. That is unheard of. I have not seen something like that before. Um, you almost always have either during the release of the film or before the release of the film, not after it. And again, this is all due to try to make sure that there's buzz created around the film. And a lot of times movie studios do it because even uh, sometimes the novelizations go towards using alternate endings. So it's not really revealing too much. But again, Warner Brothers and Legendary, they have to be super spies with this film once again. So, anything involving an official licensed product like this? No, sir. It's not going to be out early. You're going to have to wait four days after the film is released to do so. Um, here's the official synopsis of the book itself. It says, The official novelization of the much-anticipated brand new Godzilla movie. A rebirth for the major international franchise. Gareth Edwards' Godzilla will be released on May 16th, 2014. Side note, that means that the release will be May 20th. Uh, going back to the synopsis. An epic rebirth of Toho's iconic Godzilla. This spectacular adventure pits the world's most famous monster against malevolent creatures who, bolstered by humanity's scientific arrogance, threaten our very existence. So, pretty cool stuff. And um, kudos to Godzilla-Movies.com for this bit of news. Uh, somebody found, I guess, the link that's available now for Amazon for pre-order. So, very, very cool stuff. By the way, the person that's going to be writing this is Greg Cox, who, uh, those of us, like myself, who purchase novelizations all the time, um, know that name. He's pretty much written almost every 
major superhero sci-fi novelization out there. I mean, we're talking like he did Dark Knight Rises. He's done Man of Steel. He's done Underworld. Uh, he wrote Ghost Rider, the film. He did the Daredevil film novelization. Um, he's also delved into lots of Star Trek books, uh, lots of comic book novels, such as anything involving X-Men Avengers. The list goes on and on, so we're going to be in good territory here. Here's somebody who is going to be able to take what's given from the script and expand about it. And if they do a really, really good job, then it'll just make the film, reading of the film on the book, that much more better. Very cool stuff. So, anyways, thanks again, everybody. Take care.